Join the adventure as Brooke and myself travel north to dive some really cool places, shoot dream fish, meet new people, do memorable sunset cook-ups, climb big rocks, brave the elements to discover untouched abandoned locations in the middle of paradise. We even had to heat our own shower with fire, lived in a caravan and ate things that we've never tried before. And we bring you guys along for the whole damn adventure. It's onto the jet ski. <laughs> Today's adventure starts right here. We are at the Barra Crab Caravan Park. It's a really cool place. There's big mud crabs sitting in tanks and things like that. Gotcha. <laughs> We crashed here tonight because we drove about, let's say like 12 hours north from our hometown. Just gonna go out and check the boat and car still here. <sighs> Good morning, Henny and Remy. Let me take you for a quick walk down to the beach and I'll show you this place. Half of you guys are not actually subscribed, so if you wanna help the channel hit one million, make sure you smash that subscribe button and put your noties on. This place is actually unreal. It's glass and off in the morning. So hopefully we're blessed with this weather for the next week or so. Bunch of neighboring islands. Boat ramps right there. And then up here's the, the, the little park that we've been staying at. God, it's nice. It is. That's a three. <laughs> I'm driving. We made it. You gotta be kidding me. You could literally, I'm not even kidding, you could shore dive right there. This is not. Park the beast up there. And I think we found where we're staying for the next week. We're in. Welcome home. Hey, kick the shoes off. We got a whole damn house here, guys. So beautiful. <gasps> That's an upstairs. Get absolutely. Like, I'm waiting for your reaction. <gasps> what is this place? <laughs> Guys, this is actually nuts. So we got you this. Can you? <laughs> yeah. Look through there. Oh, oh what a place to stay. This is I love just how it just looks over everything right here. I like it. That sun's coming up just behind there, but we've got all the dive gear in here. Just loading up the boat, getting everything ready. I can feel it in my bones. Today's gonna be a good dive day. Oh man. When you stand up here, you can see the water and the islands out there. It's looking pretty flat. I can hear a few boats out already. This is gonna be absolutely awesome. Brooke said Brecky's ready though, so I gotta fuel up. Keep packing, and then we've got an hour drive to pick up Johnny, head to the boat ramp, and then the day begins. What do you wanna to get today? What's your goal? Coal trout. Coal trout? I it's think I wanna get a big, Black spot tusky. That's that's the dream. <laughs> but the traffic's moving now, so we're gonna be at Johnny's in no time. We'll say hi to him. This is Johnny. He's a bit of a legend diver, and he's gonna show us some local spots that he knows of. Hopefully with no crocs. All right, we pulled up to a spot here. Anchors out. Johnny and Brooke are suiting up. I'm gonna suit up as well. And there's a nice ledge right along here, which should hold some good fish. There's, there's a fair bit of ground to cover. It runs all the way down the beach down there. So we're just gonna sort of jump in check around and we can move spots too if, if not much is going on. A lot of water pushing through here so you never know what you could come across but um, I'm gonna stop talking, get my gear on and we'll get in there and check it out.
Hmm. Oh, the big blueies are here. Johnny's gonna go get the boat. There's blueies here, guys. I want one real bad, so I'm putting in the work. We're gonna get this thing. It's so beautiful. Considering I just lost the fish of a lifetime, I think I handled this extremely well. Like, I literally handled it so well, like, I, I didn't even really care. <sighs> oh. Alright, um, I've been going across this ledge here, just really going up and down, working along it, sanding, grunting, doing everything. I finally had an opportunity. It was sort of two rocks came to a point and I was swimming between them and then just two of the biggest tuskies I've ever seen just came in. One peeled off to the left towards me. I shot it, it ran. I think I held onto my gun too tight and it just wrapped around the rock and boom, just, I didn't even see it. It just was gone. Spear had nothing on the end of it and that was it. Dream fish just disappeared. So I'm gonna get back in, keep working it. It's really, really sad that I uh, didn't land that guy, but it's really exciting to see him out here. So I jumped back in, but all I could think about was that big tusky that I missed. I was so distracted. I didn't even want to shoot these good fish here. But I ended up pulling myself together. I found a nice tusky, good eating size for Brooke and I. After a few laughs and smiles, we moved on to the next location in hopes for another chance. Come on there. Yeah. Look at that one. Oh yeah. It seriously just happened again. Oh. Oh. I just out of nowhere, just another big dog just... I, I, I just completely missed it. I couldn't believe it, it was just right in front of me and then it turned on its... I like started heading away and then it turned its head a bit and I just missed. It's pretty dirty. But I will have a little look around. Wow. Mate, that's huge. Yeah, I did think it was that big. Wow. That's a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> look at the mouth on him. Yeah, you can chuck a bit. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I love this backyard. <laughs> so cool. 
couple of trout, couple of tuskies. Not too bad for a day out. Oh, look at that. Good one, man. I really appreciate that. Oh, no worries. It's great having you out, mate. Yeah, it was awesome diving today. Sorry, couldn't get you a big one, but... No, I, I had my chance. <laughs> I messed it up. You, you did your part. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's not. <laughs> So I lost the fish of a lifetime. I don't know why, I literally spoke it into existence. I just, I was like, I'm talking about these tuskies too much, it's not gonna happen. And then we come across this black spot tusky heaven. I chase him for a bit. I managed to get a shot on the biggest freaking tusky I've ever seen in my life and it just pulled the spear out. I don't think it fully penetrated it because the scales are so thick at, at that size. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking's it happened. It was a stonker. You never feel like fish after a big dive, so we're gonna have steak tonight, and then tomorrow, I think we're gonna do a big cook up of those fish. Some trout, some trout skin, some tusky, all that good stuff. So tonight we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful steak. And get on the beers. 